Hey, what's going on guys of that one will be fine and welcome back to this video. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how we can pass the object from one screen to the another it means that we have to fill those fields inside that form and with the help of that form, we are able to navigate our data. So let's jump in and get started. So if you watched my last part of the video where we learned about the validation and we created a very basic UI. So if you guys want to learn about the validation, it's a plus that you can watch my previous video so if you want to just uh if you have knowledge about the validation and just want to jump directly to it still fine right so it's all up to you so i want to make the that link in the description as well so you guys can easily follow along and watch that you are how build that very simple and basic right so let's get started here so i have a lib file and already i created here a file with the name of home.dart and that's where we have built everything and uh, very basic validation now, next, I just want to work with a new thing, which is known as text editing controller. And this is basically used to update the value and the, and the listener notifies it. Uh, so whenever there is a change, the listener notifies it, right? So if you want to see inside the documentation that already open up, so you can search for the text editing controller. So whenever the value modifies the text field, means that if we add something here inside the text field, the text field updates the value and, and the controller notifies its listener. So we're going to create here a controller inside the text field and this is going to listen and notify it whenever something changes. So I'm going to show you in just a little while. So similarly, if you modify the text or sele selection properties, the text field will be notified and will be updated itself appropriately. So you, you see down here, you have also an example. That's what you can also watch that. And I uh, just want to explain the things in a very neater and cleaner way, right? So let's get started here. Right, so right after the uh, material dot dar, I'm going to create here a class. You can create separate file and import it, but just want to make things very simple for the basics for the user. So let's create here a class with the name of class user data. Because we are working with a null safety, I just want to make that question mark means that if by default it should be null, and if there's some value defined otherwise, it should be null, right? So same for the last name, and we also have an email. And uh, I just want to add here a question mark. And last thing that we need is the password. All right. So right after that, I want to create here a constructor inside it. So user data. And inside here, let's define here this dot first name. We have this dot last name. We have this dot uh, email. And we also have this dot password. All right. So we created here a constructor. Now I need to define here something which is known as tax editing controller. That's what I already explained that would, uh, what I'm going to use here. So right after the form state, which we worked for the form and uh, that's where we've defined. And right after that, I'm going to create here something which is known as tax editing controller, which we just uh, read about the documentation, very basic about that. So we created here a text editing controller. Let's give it the name of for the first name controller. So this should be the very first field. So and later on, I'm going to pass this inside the text form field and with the help of a controller, which I'm going to do in a little while. So let's define the text editing controller. And uh, I need to actually it should be text editing controller, not the action. So right, so just want to grab this all and paste it three more time and change that to be last name controller. And we have to also define the, uh, this should be for the email controller. And the last one is for the password controller. All right, so we define the tax editing controller. All right, so next thing that I'm going to do here, right inside of my validated form. Now this method is works when everything is validated. Now, all I need is that whenever I click on this form, this whenever I click on the sign up button, this button will navigate me to another page. So let's create here a new class for it. So I'm, I, I can also create here a separate class if I want. So let's create here a file and uh, give it the uh, data underscore screen dot down. You can create that separate if you want. So let's import here the package for the material dot. So package colon flutter slash material dot dot and I'm going to create a very basic form where we can view our all objects. So let's create here a class of uh, let's give it the data screen. So there is a shortcut which I already have inside my uh, uh, 
an extension that you see. So I just want to simply type state last widget and let's give it the name of uh, user or data screen. All right. So just want to remove that. I want to build put that inside the scaffold. All right. So inside my scaffold, I need to bring up uh, my app bar here. So very basic app bar and app bar should have the uh, the title. So let's give it the text widget and set that to be data and just want to make that into the center, center title, center. And right after the app bar, I'm going to create a body and here we have a center widget and let's create here a child with the column and right inside here, I need to bring in the children and inside children, I just want to give air pass another widget, which is the padding. And let's give it the uh, padding of edge insets dot bottom widget. Oh, sorry, edge insets dot only. The only means that we can only apply it to the top, right, bottom, left, not all. So let's uh, give it the uh, bottom to be 15. All right, so it should be control shift F just to indent my code and uh, that should be the padding now i need to view the values so let's give it the child and tax widget and that's where i want to view my first name right now in order to pass the data as you see inside my home a dot dot you see we have created the control but we haven't passed the values so in order to pass the values i need to define here the user object inside the navigation and how i'm going to do it is so let's go to that's where we can print and validate it. So you see we have uh, to, once I click on the sign up, I need to navigate the data. So let's pass it navigator. Uh, so navigator dot push. So because I want to route the data to the next screen. So navigator dot push contacts and the route should be um, material page route, which should have a builder from method and that builder uh, must have the uh, context and uh, let's pass the context here um, that should be actually inside the brackets and the last thing that I need to pass the name of the screen which is actually the class which we just created so data screen so let's pass right up here and bring this in right and now I need to import the data screen all I need just import that and that's fine all right so if I want to indent it, uh, just put commas and there we go, right? So we pass the data. Now, um, the data screen should have, uh, I need to pass that user object, which we just created. Um, that should be the controller. And uh, I need to pass the user object here. So right inside the validated method, I need to create, uh, I need to pass here the class, which is the user data. Let's give it the name user equal to new and let's create here a user data. And inside here, I need to bring up my all fields inside here. So first we have the first name and I need to assign the tax to it. So first name controller dot tax, this will able to get the value of the form, right? So first name, then we have the last name, so let's give it the last name controller dot text, and same for the email, so email controller dot text and the password, so password controller dot text. All right, so that's fine, and I need to navigate it to the screen. So let's pass here the user and the user. All right, so it's fine and uh, we just uh, share the password dot text so this user actually passed to it and for some reason yeah uh, and you see if i hover on it it say the name parameter user isn't defined try correcting the name to the parameter right so we need to pass it to the values right up here so inside here, I need to define my user object. So how I'm going to do it, just for uh, protecting the null safety, let's pass your required and give it the name of this dot user because we are passing the user and uh, super should be key. 
So this should be data screen. And if I go back here, which is fine, actually I need to define here. Yeah, final user data and user. All right, so that's fine. And now as I explained that we have to pass the data right into it. So first name, let's give it a user dot name user dot first name now is, this isn't gonna work we have to define the controller as well so let's define here the controller because we have to listen and notify it to the controller so let's define the controller this should be for the first name so let's define here first name controller and same here for the controller it should be the last name controller and for the email so email actually it should be controller and email controller and that should be controller and password controller All right so that's fine and I need to just copy that up and just paste it three more times just for the sake of getting all the values so this should be the user dot last name and change that to be last name and uh, that should be for the email so user dot email and that should be for the password all right should change that label to be password all right so let's uh, refresh this and it says that the getter password isn't defined the user data all right so the user data yeah it should be the password just copy that paste it right up here and now if I try to refresh this alright so just for the confirmation process the validation is working fine so just change that just add the text John Doe John at the right gmail dot com and let's give the password of character more than the six digits now if I try to click on this sign up button and it's not gonna navigate me to the, the screen so let's check this out why so first I need to go to my home dot dot which is actually showing me the error yeah it should be password and now if I try to go back again and let's go to back to the screen click on the sign up John so So let's press this one and click on the sign up and there we go. So you see here that we are able to get the value. Just to make a, a little neater, I need to apply here a check. So right after the, uh, inside the column, I need to apply a main axis alignment and give it the main axis alignment dot center, right? So I just want to make hot reload and refresh and you see this looks a little bit better, right? So you see how easier and how cleaner it's to pass the data from one screen to the other. So you learn about the text editing controller. So how we can change and update the value and notifies it to the listener, right? So you learn about how we can pass the object from one screen to the another. So that's it guys. I hope you guys learn and and learn something out of it. So don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I wanna see you in the next coming videos.